My coverage of Computex 2019 is sponsored by Techware, providing affordable quality computer and gaming products. Vortex is one of the bigger Mac companies and they had a booth to match. They did share with Mistel and Leopold, so all up there are a heap of boards in this area. Let's just start off with a big one. This is a sample of the upcoming Vortex Poker 4. For me, and I guess for the community, the Poker series is an iconic one as it really did popularize and bring 60% keyboards to the consumer market. If you were in the community like two or three years back, the pokers were super popular and were selling like crazy. Now there's way many more plays in the game and custom keyboards have flooded the enthusiast market. So this has actually been a long time coming and well, you can't change too much as it is a 60% board. This time around, it's a sleeker CNC machine aluminium enclosure rather than the casted one of the Poker 3. The bezels are slightly thicker and it now looks a bit sharper and more rectangular but still has the rounded corners. I guess the biggest aesthetic change is the RGB underglow which is super sleek. If we look at the bottom, it's just a line that goes around the edge rather than having a full translucent bottom. It looks like it'll be available in a few different colors and there were front lit caps and also these DSA ones which I don't know if it's an option but that's the good thing about 60% keyboards, the keycaps are super easy to replace. These of course are pre-production units so they'll probably be a bit different on release which they said would be in Q4 but yeah it's definitely a solid keyboard, I like it better than the Poker 3 already and yeah an improvement. There was the Hellcat 60% and to be honest I didn't even touch it so my bad on that. The other new boards were the slim low profile versions, so there's the Poker 3 Ultra Slim Edition and yes they stuck with the Poker 3 name and these house the cherry low profile key switches which still are only linear I think. It would have been cool if it had KLO Pro switches since they have clickies and tactiles but yeah I guess they have their thing with cherry so please get them clickies in your lineup. Super light keyboards as the aluminium enclosure is kept to an absolute minimum so it has a floating key design and we can actually see that they're not even the shorter switches but the flat keycaps contribute to how slim the keyboard looks. And they extended this to their new 75B2. As for the other stuff, much of it I already reviewed on the channel. Vortex have always been up there with mechanical keyboards and I'm interested to see how the new Poker 4 will do because the timing is a bit weird. It's like they were too early in the game with the Poker 3 before a whole lot of gamers came in and Ducky were the ones that caught the wave with the Mini 2. It will definitely still be more expensive than the Ducky 60% but it is a sweet board and you get what you pay for. Big thanks again to Techware for supporting my coverage of Computex 2019 and yep, more stuff to come.